Good morning, second grade. Today we are going to be talking a little bit more about verbs. Um, and first, let's start by looking at some sentences we have on the board. Let's read our sentences. Good. I rake the lawn. All right, our next one. Good. I raked the lawn. And our last one. Good. I am raking the lawn. All right, let's look at this sentence first. I am raking the lawn. What is our verb? And remember, a verb is an action. What is our verb in the sentence? I am raking the lawn. Good. It's raking. All right. So, and the with our verbs, since they're actions, they occur in time. So we want to know when our action happened, raking. It's happening right now, right? And it's ongoing. So we call that present and continuing action, right? So I'm doing it now, right now, and I'm gonna, I'm keeping doing it, right? I am raking the lawn. So this we call present and continuing action. And we know that it's present and continuing because we use a certain vowel suffix. Let's see, what vowel suffix are we using in this last sentence? I am raking the lawn. Good, our vowel suffix on our verb is ing. So that lets us know the action is present. So it's happening now and it's continuing. All right, let's look at this sentence next, our second sentence. Um, what is our, what's happening? What's the action in this sentence? I raked the lawn. Good, the action is raked or, right, we're still, it's the same kind of action, but it did not happen at the same time, right? So raked, oh, let's see. I know it happened in the past. And what vowel suffix am I using that helps me know that this happened in the past? Good, it's our ed, d, t, past tense ending. So I could have just finished raking the lawn and I'm looking at it and I say, yeah, I raked the lawn. I could also use this for any other time in the past. So if I want to say, when I was five, I raked the lawn for the first time, we would still use the same form of our verb because it's still in the past. It doesn't matter if it just, it just passed or it was passed a really long time ago. We're always going to use the past tense, um, which for our regular verbs is this ed, d, t. All right. Oh, and so we call it past tense ending because tense just means time in, when we're talking about English verbs. So tense means time. So when I, we talk about the tense of the verb, it just means when did the action happen? Did it happen right now? So tense means time. So when we say past tense ending, we just mean um, we're just saying the action was in the past. It was in the past time. All right. And let's see, look at our first one now. I rake the lawn. All right. It's also present. It's happening now, but it's not ongoing and continuing like it was in our first sentence. Um, so this is our present tense, and this is our regular, what we usually learn is the present tense. And then we know how to make it past tense, and then we know how to make it um, present and continuing, right, by adding these different vowel suffixes. Um, and also, before we move on, um, I had to do something to this word before I added my vowel suffixes. What did I do to the word before I added my vowel suffixes? 
All right, if you said, I dropped the silent final E, you're just right. Remember, with words that have a silent final E, we drop that before we add the vowel suffix. All right, let's look at a page in our notebook to help us understand the idea of tense a little bit better. All right, so let's go to page 18 in our orthography notebook. All right, at the top it says regular verbs. All right, and it reminds us that tense tells us when an action happened. All right, so the first tense that we always learn, or almost always, is the present, right? So that means happening right now. All right, and let's put one of our verbs that we learned this week in our notebook. So on that first line that you have free, under present tense, we're going to write look. All right, which u uh do we use in look? Good, u, u, uh, and which k? Good, line letter k. So write look and mark it, and that is the present tense of our verb. All right, tell me what I need to write to spell look. Good O, good O, and which O is it? Good U O, and great, which K? Good, line letter K. And I hope you have the markings as well. So if I'm talking about the action, right, I will, or I look for the pencil. I look for the pencil. It's happening now, but not in a continuing way. Then we just use look. That's our regular present tense. All right, in the next column, we've got what we were talking about with our happening now and continuing. All right, and which vowel suffix did we add to make to mean happening now and continuing when I was with rake? All right, good, we added our ing. Um, we always need to use a helping verb with that. So you couldn't say, I raking the lawn. You would have to say, I am raking the lawn, or he is raking the lawn. All right, so in the next column, that's our, I'm just gonna put ing up here for right now. So we, let's see. So what would we need to add to look to make it present and continuing? Good, we would need to add our ing vowel suffix, but I'm gonna write the what we call the helping verb as well, because I can't just say raking, I have to say is raking. So we'll write is and then looking. So he is looking for his homework, looking. All right, now look, let's see, does it have a silent final E at the end? It doesn't. And I know it's not a one, one, one word because it doesn't end with one vowel. It has, we've got a vowel, two vowels there. So this is gonna be, it's not a one, one, one word. It's not a silent final E word. That means it's a do nothing word. All right, so all we need to do is stick that vowel suffix on the end. Um, is ing going to get its own Syllable. If you're not sure, put your hand on your chin and say looking. Yep, ing always, always, always gets its own syllable. All right, so is looking is our present and continuing form of that verb. Go ahead and write is looking. This is going to be in our second column. And remember, we're always going to mark and do the syllables in our words until we've mastered them. All right, what do I need to write to spell looking? Good, it's just my base word look. Using u. And then I add my vowel suffix.
So remember, I would use this, this form of my verb, and that tense of my verb, we could also say, if I'm doing it right now, but I'm keeping doing it. All right. And the last one we're going to talk about right now is past tense. All right, we've talked about that a little bit with our edit past tense ending. All right, so our regular verbs all use edit to make them past tense. So if we want to talk about looking that I did that was that was in the past, Oh, look is a regular verb, so I'm just going to go and add edit, past tense ending. And that could be, I was looking one minute ago. I would use looked. If I was looking five years ago, I would still use looked. Any time in the past, anything that's already happened, we use our past tense ending. All right, so the only trick with our past tense ending is we have to figure out if it gets its own syllable or not. Remember, it gets its own syllable if it's making its first sound. It does not if it's making our, its second or third sound. So to figure that out, all we do is put our hand on our chin and say looked. Oh, it's still just one syllable. So I'm just going to write my base word look and my edit past tense ending. So go ahead and write that in the past tense column. All right, I hope you marked it as well as you can. And remember, when we're marking it, we always start at the beginning and mark everything going through the word. All right, don't just underline the silent final E. You want to go and make sure we're getting everything looked. All right, we know we need to underline this, but we know it's not saying it's first sound or it would get its own syllable. Looked. Looked. What do I need to put on top of this? Good, we'll put a little three right on top of it. All right, so this, we just want to review a little bit about regular verbs, talk more about their tenses and how we form them. Regular verbs are really easy. We always use this to mean present and continuing. And we always use this to mean it already happened. Okay, nice job class.